fee structures and scholarships in NID, IIIT, and IIT. Hi friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sai Channel Malayala. Hi friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sai Channel Malayala. Second year undergraduate student from NIT Warangal. So, I know many of you are waiting for this video of fee structures and scholarships in NIT, IIIT and IIT. So, in this video, I am going to give a brief note on them like uh, how much will be the fee and uh, how is the fee structure and uh, what are all the scholarships we can get in that uh, particular institute like NIT or IIT or IIIT. So, can we apply for loan? So, by the end of this video, you will be able to get an idea whether you can apply loan or not. IIIT is fee structure. So, in IIIT is there will be three types and Indian Institute of Information Technology and uh, International Institute of Information Technology which are Hyderabad and Bangalore and these are only two which is, which are called International Institute of Information Technology and uh, IIIT DM which is Indian Institute of Information Technology Design and Management Kanjipuram, Karnul and Jabalpur these fee structures will be different from each other so in IIIT is there are five IIIT is which are national importance Surat, Bhopal, Bagalpur, Raichur, Agartala in these five IIIT is fees will be approximately 8 lakhs per 4 years so public private partnership there will be some IIIT is uh, which is which are public and private partnership they will be funded for centrally funded and state funded and industry funded their fee structure will be around 13 to 14 lakhs per 4 years so IIIT Hyderabad, IIIT Bangalore are not available in JOSA counseling and uh, you should apply separately for them through their website. These IIITs are having different fee structures so I mentioned them separately. Raipur has 9 to 10 lakhs for 4 years and Bhuneshwar 10 to 11 lakhs per 4 years and Raipur is 9 to 10 lakhs for 4 years and for Pune 2 lakhs for 4 years. So these are subject to change just I got the information from their websites according to the fee structure in the previous uh, year and so this may be ch changed during your course time also. So in overall normally 8 to 13 lakhs will be the fee structure on IIITs. So coming to scholarships, coming to scholarships in overall means uh, all other IIITs uh, except which I mentioned here coming to scholarships national important triple is may you can like for sc st pwd no tuition fee no tuition fee will be there in the national importance i said five triple are there right in them there are no tuition fee for sc st and pwd for public and private partnership no scholarships only apply for national and state scholarships example nsp like that in some states also the state government will provide some scholarships you can apply for them so coming to loan some college offers loan and uh, some banks like SBI, S yes Bank, you can take the student loan and study loan and some uh, some uh, state government schemes will also be there and uh, you can avail them uh, for triple IITs. Fee structure in IITs. So a maximum 12 to 14 lakhs fee will be there for 4 years for general and OBC students and uh, 2.5 lakhs for fee for 4 years of SC, ST and PWD approximately 8 lakhs of uh, tuition fee will be there and uh, coming to scholarships, merit scholarships, government scholarships like NSP and some private scholarships you can apply uh, from the institute and 100% uh, of tuition fee waiver for SC, ST and PWD students 100% of tuition fee waiver for family income below 1 lakh so if you provide the income certificate below 1 lakh you will be getting a 100% tuition fee waiver so these students only need to pay hostel and miss fees so 66% of tuition fee waiver which is 2 by 3rd of the tuition fee for the family income is below 5 lakhs and above 1 lakh which is between 1 to 5 lakhs so your income certificate is such a way that uh, it should not be 5 lakhs uh, till those whose income certificate will be till 4 lakhs 99,999 they can avail 66% of tuition fee waiver in IITs so coming to loans you can get easily in IITs uh, in some colleges they provide interest free loans means your interest will be paid by government and uh, college collab with some branches uh, will provide you the interest free loans means if you take the loan of uh, 2 lakhs 
after your uh, graduation you need to only pay to a lakhs uh, no need of paying interest and you can also avail some low interest loans also next comes the nits fee structure fee structure in nits so it will be a normal fees at 2 to 2.3 lakhs per year and uh, overall in 4 years you will be you need to 8 to 8.5 lakhs for 4 years 100% of tuition fee waiver for sc st pwd and general and obc with family income below 1 lakh same as iits and uh, here also same who you if you have general and obc students if you have the income certificate below 1 lakh then you need not to pay tuition fee you will be getting 100% tuition fee waiver only you need to pay hostel and mess only so 66% which is 2 by 3rd of tuition fee will be waived if a general and obc student with a family income between 1 to 5 lakhs below 5 lakhs and above 1 lakh and uh, gout and private merit scholarships will also be there in nids and uh, coming to loan you can apply easily and uh, they are easily available so thank you for watching this video and i request every one of you to share the videos to, to your friends and family those who required for uh, counseling of j mains and je advanced counseling of josa and sisa so uh, and also you can watch the college reviews and freshers experience which are already posted in my channel and uh, thank you thank you one and all if you like the content of my channel please like share and subscribe see you in the next video until then take care bye bye